Whangarei, or Māori, Fa'ai, is the northernmost city in New Zealand and the regional capital of Northland region. It is part of the Whangarei District, a local body created in 1989 from the former Whangarei City, Whangarei County and Hikurangi Town Councils, to administer both the city proper and its hinterland. The city population was estimated to be 58,800 in June 2018, an increase from 47,000 in 2001. Topic: History. The Maori Iwi Napuhi occupied Whangarei from the early 19th century, and the Te Parafau Hapu lived at the head of the harbor. Captain James Cook and the crew of the Endeavour were the first Europeans to sight the Whangarei Harbour entrance. On 15 November 1769 in the harbour they caught about a hundred fish there which they classified as Bream. Probably Snapper, prompting Cook to name the area Bream Bay. In the 1820s, the area was repeatedly attacked by Waikato and Nati Paua raiders during the Musket Wars. The first European settler was William Carruth, a Scotsman and trader who arrived in 1839 and was joined six years later by Gilbert Mare and his family. Relations between the settlers and local Maori were generally friendly, but in February 1842, all settler farms were plundered in revenge for transgressions of Tapu. In April 1845, during the Flagstaff War, all settlers fled from Whangarei. Most of the original settlers never returned, but by the mid-1850s there were a number of farmers and orchardists in the area. From 1855, a small town developed, driven by the cowrie gum trade. Today's town bond on the Hadia River was the original port and early exports included cowrie gum and native timber followed later by coal from Wau Valley, Kamo, and Hikurangi. Coal from the Kirapaka field was exported via the Nunguru River. By 1864, the nucleus of the present city was established. Fire bricks made from fire clay deposits near the Kamo mines supported a brick works over several decades. Good quality limestone was quarried at Hikurangi, Portland, and Limestone Island, and initially sold as agricultural lime and later combined with local coal to produce Portland cement at the settlement of Portland on the south side of the harbor. Local limestone is still used in cement manufacture but the coal is now imported from the west coast of the South Island. Whangarei was the most urbanized area in Northland towards the end of the 19th century, but grew slowly in the 20th century. The district slowly exhausted most of its natural resources but was sustained by agriculture, especially dairying. Shipping was the main transport link until the North Auckland Railway Line reached the town in 1925, and the road from Auckland was not suitable for travel in poor weather until 1934. These terrestrial travel routes forced a rapid decline in coastal shipping but stimulated Whangarei to become the service centre for Northland. The population was 14,000 in 1945, but grew rapidly in the 1960s, incorporating Kamo and other outlying areas. In 1964, Whangarei was declared a city. Its population the following year was 31,000. The second half of the 20th century brought the establishment and expansion of the oil refinery at Marsden Point on Bream Bay, the adjacent development of timber processing, and the establishment of Northland Port, which is mainly focused on timber exporting. Topic: Future. Building of the Undertwasser Art Centre with Wairau Māori Art Gallery commenced in 2018 after the funding target of $20.97 million was raised by a volunteer team in time for a June 2017 deadline, a container port could follow, linked by rail to Auckland. The extensive, flat undeveloped land around Northport is a suggested solution to excess population growth in Auckland and the associated lack of industrial land. Topic. Geography <laughs> 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 
Topic: Geographical features. Mount Parihaka is a volcanic dome rising 241 meters to the northeast of the city center. It is about 20 million years old, and part of the Harbor Fault, which also includes Paracure near Kamo, and Hikurangi near the town of the same name. The dome is surrounded by the Parihaka Scenic Reserve. There is road access to the summit of Parihaka and walking tracks through the reserve. The dome is frequently called Mount Parahaki, but the original Maori spelling of Parihaka was confirmed by the government in 2005. The Hadia River flows south through the city and empties into Fongare Harbor. The river has a spectacular 26 meters waterfall in Tikipunga, 6 kilometers north of the city. Matakoe, or Limestone Island, lies in the harbor close to the city. Owned by Fongare District, it is subject to ecological island restoration by the Friends of Matakoe, Limestone Island Society. Topic. Suburbs The Fongare urban area is spread throughout the valleys of the surrounding area. The city has several suburbs. Northern, Kamo, Springs Flat, Tikipunga, Three Mile Bush, Otangare, Mayertown, Regent, Kensington, and Wau Valley. Southern, Western, Morningside, Raumanga, Maunu, Horahora, Woodhill, and the Avenues. Eastern, Riverside, Sherwood Rise, Onirahi, and Parihaka. Topic. Climate Fongare has an oceanic climate Copen CFB. Climate in this area has mild differences between highs and lows. Summer days occasionally exceed 30 degrees Celsius, and there is plentiful rainfall spread relatively evenly throughout the year. Using the Trawartha classification Fongare is firmly a maritime subtropical climate due to its absence of winter cold. Topic. Government Topic. National Fongare is within the Fongare General Electorate and the Te Tai Tokerau Maori Electorate. The current MP of the Fongare Electorate is Shane Reddy of the National Party. The current MP of the Te Tai Tokerau electorate is Kelvin Davis of the Labour Party. Topic. Local At a local level Fongare comes under the Northland Regional Council of which the city is the seat. Fongare is governed locally by the Fongare District Council. The city is split into two of the council wards, Denby, which takes the northern suburbs, and Okara, which takes the southern half of the city. The Northland Police District covers Fongare which is split into two areas, Fongare, Kaipara and Mid, Far North. Judicially, the town is served by the Fongare District Court and is also the base of the region's only high court. Topic. Transport State Highway 1 from Auckland to Cape Reinga passes through Fongare. State Highway 14 from Dargaville connects to State Highway 1 in Fongare. Fongare is connected to Auckland by rail. The line carries freight only, public passenger transport is by long-distance bus. Fongare Airport is located 7.4 kilometers, 4.6 miles southeast of the city center in the suburb of Onirahi. Northland Regional Council operates the CityLink bus service. This bus service runs eight urban bus routes with bicycle racks from the 1st of October 2018. In July 2013, a second road crossing of the Hadia River was opened in the form of a bascule bridge. There are several cycle, walkways under development connecting the city centre with outer suburbs. These include Kamo currently under construction, Onirahi completed and Raumanga, Maunu several sections completed. 
The Hadia Loop is a central mixed space walkway connecting the town basin, Hahiaua Peninsula, Okara, Pohe Island, and Riverside areas of the central city. Fongaray is served by Northport, a seaport at Marsden Point. It was previously served by Port Fongaray, in the upper harbour near the city, which was operated by the Northland Harbour Board until 1988, when it was transferred to the Northland Port Corporation. The first two berths at Marsden Point opened in 2002, and Port Fongaray closed to commercial shipping in 2007 when the remaining cargo operations were transferred to Marsden Point. Intercity and Skip Bus operate daily bus services from Auckland and other cities. Topic: Arts and Culture. The Fongaray Art Museum is located in the town basin. Artisan markets are held at the nearby Canopy Bridge. The Undertwasser Arts Centre is planned to be built on the site of the former Northland Harbour Board building. The Quarry Arts Centre is located on the edge of the western hills in the avenues. <laughs> Topic. Education. Topic. Tertiary education Northtech, with its main campus located in the Fongaray suburb of Raumanga, is the chief provider of tertiary education in the Northland region. It offers degrees, diplomas and certificates in a wide variety of academic, professional and technical fields. The degrees are nationally monitored for quality and so can lead to postgraduate study at universities and other institutions. Northtech has around 23,000 students studying either part-time or full-time. The University of Auckland maintains a campus in the city centre. There are also a number of private tertiary educational organisations that provide technical and vocational training. Topic. Schools There are several schools which offer secondary schooling education within the urban area. Most suburbs have their own primary school. Topic. Secondary schools Fongaray Boys High School, a boys' secondary school with a roll of 1200 March 2019. Fongaray Girls High School, a girls' secondary school with a roll of 1425 March 2019. These two secondary schools have a decile rating of 5 and cover years 9 to 13. Both schools opened in 1881, Kamo High School, which accommodates years 9 to 13. Tikipunga High School, which caters for years 7 to 13, both of these are coeducational secondary schools serving the northern suburbs. Huanui College, a private secondary school just out of the urban area in Glenburvy. Te Kura Kaupapa Maori o Te Rifidiroa, a Maori language immersion school catering for primary and secondary students. Topic. Intermediate and primary schools There are two intermediate schools years 7 to 8 in the urban area. Several primary schools offer education from years 1 to 8. Fongaray Intermediate is an intermediate years 7 to 8 school with a roll of 639. Kamo Intermediate is a popular intermediate school serving the northern suburbs. Primary schools in the urban area include Harapaki School, Kamo Primary School, Totara Grove School, formerly Kamo East School, Tikipunga Primary School, Otengare School, Wau Valley School, Fongare School, a contributing primary years 1 to 6 school with a roll of 577, Maunu School, Horahora School, Morningside School, Manaya View School, former Raumanga Primary and Raumanga Middle Schools, Amalgamated, Raurimu Avenue School, and Onirahi School.
Topic Religious schools and state integrated Pompilier Catholic College opened in 1971 is a Catholic state integrated coeducational secondary school years 7 to 13 with a roll of 560 and a decile ranking of 7 located in the suburb of Maunu. It is the only Catholic secondary school in Northland serving the wider district. St. Francis Javier Catholic School, the city's Catholic primary school, located in the suburb of Wow Valley adjacent to the Catholic parish. Christian Renewal School is a composite state integrated coeducational secondary and primary years 1 to 13 school with a role of 201. Around 110 of those students are in high school years 9 to 13, as of June 2018. The school was established in 1993 and integrated into the state system in 1997. The secondary half of the school is situated upstairs, and the primary downstairs. The school operates in the Christian Renewal Buildings, beside the Renew Church Work Buildings and Auditorium, Exceller College, a Christian school years 1 to 13, located in the northern suburb of Springs Flat. One half of the school is secondary, and the other half being primary. There are 205 students at this school. The Fongare Adventist Christian School, located at Wow Valley Road, has been operating for some 50 years and is the second oldest of the independent Christian schools in Fongare as well. It was formerly called the Fongare Seventh day Adventist School. Over 30 students attend the school, as of June 2018. Topic. Special School Bloomfield Special School and Resource Center provides education and care to students between the ages of 5 and 21 years, and has a role of 68. The school operates from five locations, four in Fongare and one in Kaitaya. Topic. Infrastructure and Services Topic. Healthcare Fongare is within the Northland District Health Board and the Manaya Primary Health Organization. Fongare Hospital, formerly Northland Base Hospital is Northland DHB's largest and provides secondary specialist care to all of Northland. It has 246 inpatient beds, and is based in the suburb of Horahora. Mercy Hospital was established in 1963 by the Sisters of Mercy. Kensington Hospital, opened in March 2001, is a private healthcare facility. Topic: Utilities. North Power owns and operates the local electricity distribution network servicing the city, with electricity supplied from Transpower's National Grid at the Mangatapuri substation southwest of the city. There is very little generation in Northland and Auckland, so most of the city's electricity is transmitted from the Waikato. Natural gas arrived in Fongare in 1983, with the completion of the high-pressure pipeline north from Auckland to the city, now operated by First Gas. First Gas also operates the gas distribution network within the city. Topic. Sports Fongare is home to the Northland Rugby Union team, a professional side competing in the ITM Cup, the highest level of provincial rugby in New Zealand. They play out of Okara Park, currently known as Toll Stadium, due to a sponsorship agreement, the largest stadium in the region, which also hosted two matches during Rugby World Cup 2011. The city also hosted a match on 3 June between a Provincial 15 team NZ Provincial Barbarians and the British and Irish Lions during their 2017 tour. Cobham Oval has hosted Black Caps one-day international cricket matches with the first taking place in 2012. The football soccer club North Force who compete in the Lotto Sport Italia NRFL Division 1 air based in Fongare. 
Fongare has a field hockey facility that hosted several international matches. Several hockey players from Northland have been selected for the Black Sticks women since 2000. The International Rally of Fongare is based in the region with competitors from Australia, India, China, Japan, Southeast Asia and Pacific Islands racing on dirt roads in the districts surrounding Fongare. It is the season opening event for both the Asia Pacific Rally Championship and the New Zealand Rally Championship and is New Zealand's second largest international motorsport competition, second only to the World Championship event, Rally New Zealand. Fongare Speedway attracts drivers from outside the Northland region. Northland is also represented at the highest national domestic level in golf. The Northland Rugby League team, representing the Northland region in New Zealand Rugby League competitions, is based in Fongare. They currently compete in the Albert Baskerville Trophy as the Northern Swords. Between 2006 and 2007 they were part of the Bartercard Cup, playing under the name the Northern Storm. Northland was originally known as North Auckland and has previously used the nickname the Wild Boars. Topic. Notable people Adam Blair, New Zealand Rugby League representative Lawrence Clark, cartoonist Lonnie Daniels, professional boxer, world title challenger Laura Decker, Dutch sailor, born on a boat in Fongaray in 1995, settled there again in 2012 Alex Gilbert, New Zealand adoption advocate Michael Hill, jeweler Billy T. James, entertainer, comedian, musician and actor, was at Fongare Boys High School between 1962 and 1965. Ian Jones, former All Black Lock Jack Marshall, Prime Minister of New Zealand for most of 1972, grew up in Fongare and went to Fongare Boys High School. Susie Muirhead, former member of the New Zealand Black Sticks women's hockey team Winston Peters, New Zealand politician and leader of New Zealand First Renee Ranger, former All Black and Northland Taniwa player Anthony Short, cricketer Tim Southey, New Zealand cricketer Keith Urban, country music singer Andy Ward, rugby union player Ireland and Ulster Topic. See also Northland Emergency Services Trust Nest.